Hey there, Sharon Ornell from here. Welcome to day 1,844 of What You Have To Now, documenting the journey, primarily as I transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of business over, over a quarter century in corporate America while simultaneously owning, operating, running, and building and growing my own businesses in 27 different industries. I was one of those industry hopping um, corporate employees and corporate executives. So learned a lot, learned a lot about different industries. And then following my divorce in 2015 and divesting herself of all of our assets in 2016, decided I wanted to do something different. So I hopped online in 2017, early 2017, and started learning and testing and tweaking and doing different things. Many of them epic failures. And I, and I share those so that you know that you're not alone if you're just starting out or if you've tried some things and they haven't worked perfectly for you, been there, done that. Uh, it happens to all of us. Very few people hop online, do something, and it's an instant success. Actually, probably none. And if they tell you that it was, it's just because they're trying to sell you something or market their way of doing it, which they probably learned from another guru who was marketing their way of doing it, etc. But I digress. So today created two pieces of content. The first was <clears throat> this year's annual challenge, which is the get your goals annual challenge. We're doing one thing every day to, to get what we want. We're making sure that we just do at least one little thing a day to move us toward what we want. And for nine, 10 months out of this year, <clears throat> I'm going to focus on a life framework that I personally use to grow and create the life that I want in all the different areas and aspects of my life. When I was younger, it was work, 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 business, 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 work, 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 business, business, business. And I had a family and it's like, okay, I need to carve out time for raising my family and being a semi-decent mom, right? And now it's a grandma. So how do we go about doing that? And <clears throat> I do it by balancing and not by balancing. I think balance is BS, but by making sure I'm paying attention to all the different aspects of my life and moving toward what it is that I want in each of those. And I automate as many of those things as I possibly can that move me automatically toward what I want. So I don't have to consciously think and spend time and energy on each of the different aspects of my life. Right. And I like to combine and use tools and tips and strategies that help me touch on a lot of different areas, not just one. But this month, we're focusing on emotion, the emotional area and aspect of our life, our emotional well-being. And we're going through the SOAP framework, which is a framework I, I, <clears throat> I guess, honestly, perfected via the pandemic, did a 30 plus day challenge every other month for 2020 and 2021 and used and taught this SOAP framework, which is basically, you know, weighing your options. How do you solve problems or deal with challenging situations or any kind of situation. And I shared in Supersize Your Business today, our idiom was weigh your options. I shared a five-step process for doing that, which is basically the SOAP framework, right? It was funny as I was reading it, I'm like, ooh, this sounds like the SOAP framework. So it's a SOAP frame. It's a simple framework that we can install in our subconscious that helps to make moving toward what we want automatic. Helps, doesn't help. It creates and makes and installs a process in our subconscious that guarantees that we always get the best possible results for us because we're using a process and an intentional process that we pick, choose, learn, memorize, or install into our subconscious so that it filters everything that happens to us going forward through this process and will give us the best option based on the information that we have at the time, which is all any of us can ever do. So I shared a tool for Analyzing alternatives. A stands for action because nothing happens until we take action. So we want to think about our current situation, think about our desired situation. That's the S of the framework. Then we want to brainstorm options or use different tools to come up with different possible options. Then we need to analyze those options. And today's tool was the head heart intuition tool. I've used this for a long time to make sure that I make better decisions than I might have made when I was younger. So that's it. Dogs are barking. I better go go see what's up with them. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, have a fantastic day and I will be with you tomorrow.